So my question is, are they just going to be out? Well, yeah. Alright, as I mentioned before, I have indeed gotten enough points, uh, uh, filled the Pokedex up enough to qualify for Parent's Quest, so let's heal up real fast. I've got plenty of Ultra Balls because the Lugia battle only took one. Something I just realized the other day while I was doing this, uh, the Terrarium is basically this game's Safari Zone. All right, we are ready now. Perrin? Hey Brad, don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 Pokemon for the Terrarium. Impressive. It was hard work. <laughs> it was annoying work. Well, look at you putting in all that effort. I like to see that in a kid. You probably know more about the Pokemon in the Terrarium than I do. I got here first. I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Okay. Ah! See those strange Pokemon? That first one's called Gouging Fire, and that other one's Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal! Apparently these places are in Paldea. You have any uh, you have any idea where, Brad? Yep. Wow! Are they famous spots? I want to visit them. Of course you know how it is these days, right? These photos could totally be fakes. If you want to know for sure, maybe you could go try to search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photos anytime you like. Just give a shout. Or give me a shout. And find me something good, Brad. I've got faith in your survey skills. Aww. She has faith in me. So, this time we're not accompanying her anywhere. She's gonna stay here, I guess. She's not coming with us. Okay. Hey, look at this! Three or four wild Charmander. Four of them. Okay. I don't think I've seen that many Charmander in one spot since the original Pokemon Snap. Alright, let's grab this. Right, whatever it is. A poison terror shard and a lepa berry. Well, you know where we're going now. My favorite place in the game to go. Come on. Alright, before we go in, I just want to say, I've had theories about this place. I've theorized a lot about it. And I'm incredibly excited. Maybe this time, the actual storyline of the Indigo Disc did not really give us anything new. We just found what was lurking at the bottom of the crater. At the very, very bottom. But we really didn't get any answers. So, I'm hoping this time... I'm hoping this time... We get some answers. There are a lot of mysterious places in Area Zero. And I'm hoping... ...that... ...something will get revealed down here. Beside the Yalan Berry. It's a new item. Ah, oh, crap. Then I'm off. Well, this is not the exciting rare Pokémon... ...I was anticipating.
Oh, whatever. Okay. The question is, where are these two rare Pokemon? They're in here somewhere. What's interesting? Let me show you guys this. In the Blueberry Pokedex, at the very end, if you get the uh, if you did these events, it registers Walking Wake and Iron Leaves to the Blueberry Pokedex, and it shows them in Area Zero. This is clearly Area Zero, even though they weren't down here. So I don't know what the deal was with that, other than as a tease for uh, Raging Bolt and Gouging Flame or Fire or whatever that one was called. so many places this thing could be uh, these things There's two of them now we all know what now is I'm sure by the time this hits YouTube uh, these games will have been long out but um they showed raging bolt in the trailer I had gouging fire or gouging flame, whatever uh, the 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 new Entei thing. Uh, I kind of spoiled it, but I never got a good look at it. So I know it's here. I know it exists, but I haven't really gotten a good eyeful of it. And no, I'm not stalling for time. I'm trying to find. The waterfall. The waterfall with the big open water area in it. Like I said, I hope we get some questions answered. I don't know if just catching these two things will give us those answers, but... Maybe we'll get something. Look at that thing climbing the rock. <laughs> it's so funny to see this funny just... It's literally just a flamingo, but... <laughs> It's funny that that thing of all creatures is down here in this highly dangerous area. And that is not where I wanted to go. It was indeed a pool of water. Not the pool of water. Go back up. I know that that cave is right there, but I don't want to go in there just yet. This is it. I was hoping to make my way down. question is, are they just going to be out? Well, yeah. Here's the thing, man. I've got to know, why is this thing here? Why does it look like Raikou, and why is it down here? Raikou! See, it even says, it even says Rigo. Dragonite. 
dragon hammer. Can we get a better look at it? Can't even see its head. There it is. That's a little better. Wow. It's pretty big. Dragon hammers. I think it's a signature move. Thunderclap. Let's see. Use a weaker move. Oh, good. Thank you, Backscalibur. How long will this take? A new Paradox Pokemon to catch? <laughs> The game is apologizing to me for confusing me on the whole deal with the legendaries. It's said to incinerate everything around it with lightning launched from its fur. Very little is known about this creature. What? It's 17 feet tall and weighs over a thousand pounds? This thing's a giant! I'm going to keep it with me. We'll take it back to meet her. Alright, um... Now... Karadon <laughs> right, just runs right into a rock. Okay, the only other place out up here I can think of where there would be a Pokemon is in that, uh, that cave. That cave with the strange markings on the floor. thing is, we were never really told what these markings mean. They're just down here. I mean, I'm sure this is where it is. It's like the most obvious. Shiny? No, I don't think so. I already have shiny gibble. I think I evolved it too. <laughs> 